It's our 100th episode! Yay! And we're gonna celebrate with cake! No cake. Not cake? No cake. No cake. No cake. <laughs> This is No Cake, a collaboration by St. Aaron, some Frenchy thing, and Transient, and it is bottled and brewed at microphone, so it's almost like a triple collab, if you will. So St. Aaron is very small. Very they small. are a nano brewer, actually. They don't even have their own physical space. They really just rent space at other brewers. And what do we know about this one? It is an Imperial Stout. Yes. Coming in at 11.2%. It's a big boy. Is brewed with vanilla, chocolate, graham cracker, and cinnamon. So, getting into it. But I got a little head. You did get a little head. It is opaque. Uh, not, as you saw, not a lot of head. Even when I poured a little bit more aggressively, it got like maybe half a finger's worth. Pretty um, small. Yeah, I would have expected a little bit more from an Imperial Stout. Yeah, but it's, and the head is leaving quite quickly. But like, it's like a nice color. It's mocha. I can already get a whiff of the, of the cinnamon. Like it's coming off a little bit. I hope it tastes like cake. It's got like a picture of like a KitchenAid mixer on it. It better taste like cake. Cake break. It didn't taste like fucking cake. Sniffs. I get the graham cracker. Ooh, vanilla. I get the vanilla. vanilla. I get a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. Art thou ready? I am. For our Huzzah. Prost. Prost. Mm. I think you could taste the chocolate. It tastes like cake. Like a boozy cake. Booze cake, new banding. It's boozy for sure. So we got this at Bottles, shit, Bottles and Cans. Bottles and Cans. The but guy who was working that day was very helpful. He helped us pick out a lot of beers that Including we, this one. Including this one that we would not be able to get back home. Here. Thank you, sir. I don't remember your name. Yeah, and he, he said that that was a special release that day and that, you know, we probably should capitalize on, on that because St. Aaron has a very well-regarded reputation for the stuff they brew. And I think transient ales too, I've heard of them before. Yeah. Of all of the things they list on here, I taste all of them. It is aptly described. This is really good. It has a lot of chocolate. It's just got a yeah, really boozy finish. Really boozy finish, but a little sweet. Did we talk about mouthfeel? We didn't talk about mouthfeel! It's a medium, medium plus-ish. Are we really gonna start using medium plus and medium minus? I think it's, I think it works. It's a little oily. A little slick. Slick, yeah, that's a, a good word. A little slick. Like in an oyster stout kind of way. It's got a little, it actually does have a bit of a saltiness to it. Just think about it. Take a sip. No, salty is not really a mouthfeel thing, but. No, you need your head examined. I'm feeling a little tipsy. This is 11.2%. I should be feeling tipsy. So. No! It's for our hunger. This, no. Super Ratings! Ha 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 ha! Ratings, ratings. Okay, mm, 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 mm. so what we're doing differently for our ratings is that we are going to, first of all, take the bottle cap away from Dan. Never. Anyway, so the thing we're doing differently is that instead of doing like our normal silver, bronze, whatevers, um, we are going to give this beer a numerical rating out of 100 candles. I okay, preface. I believe in a true grading system where 50% is average. Okay. This is like an 84 out okay. of 100 candles. Highlights is that it says it has it has everything that it says it has. Mm -hmm. The minuses is that it has cinnamon. It's very tasty. 84 out of 100. I'm going to go 78 out of 100. Mostly because of the booze factor. Got quite a bit of booze. It's very... It doesn't mask any of it. It's just... No, it, it's, it's all there. And it's, it's all on the back end. Yeah, it's it's definitely all there. You can t definitely taste it. Um, so it's a little much for me. But like Dan said, very balanced still as far as the other flavors. All the other flavors listed are present. Well executed, just not always going to be something I'm wanting. Of the cake beers I have had, this is probably, probably the yeah best of them. Definitely the best. So this is our 100th hundred. Thank you to all the people who have watched our videos. Who've made this possible. So we, thank really, you. we really appreciate the community that's around. Of course, we'd like to grow. We've um, met some really cool people along this journey. So. Yeah. And here's to another 100. Cheers, guys.
They're in Michigan. Michigan? Up on the lakeshore, just outside of, just like, just across the border from Indiana. I'm gonna get you a map, like a green screen, so you can be a little meteorologist for a second or something. 